I'm just gonna stay on that cow's hip. That was better. Back him up, now I'm gonna go this side. Um, I just feel this helps a lot when a, you make a cut on a cow and it kind of makes a dive at you or something like that to where that horse is comfortable to let a cow go and then catch back up. There he kind of went to come out of it and then remember to draw back so I was, I was kind of happy with that. Once again, I'm um, gonna work out of that, like to where that corner's my middle. So here, just making him stay on that cow. Read that cow, he's a little over rotated, but I'm gonna let him land here. And he's got to learn to land here and come out of a bad situation and get back good. Even though I said it's important how they go into it, it's how they're going to come out of it. But he's still got to learn. Like that muscle memory is really good, but sometimes. Uh, and to me, that's what I'm going to do when I show. I'm going to drive up as far as I can and get a cow to come to me and, and keep that cow on me to where I can give ground and take ground where I want. Um, like there during that work, I was able to push him back up to a cow. And, and to me, it's very important, um, I think, on being able to push a horse back up into a cow, but not have them get faced in a backwards. Like when I say backwards, I mean where their head's off here and their shoulders feel like they're going in because they're looking at the off foot. You know, to me, when I push them back up into a cow, I want them to stay focused on that cow and, and keep just pick that shoulder up and come up so that they land better. And when they land like that, they're going to have time to pull back out of the way. When they land like this, it's going to make that hip stuck there and everything's in the way. And it's going to, a lot of times, they can hit a cow in the like in the button chase it off um, to me if they land like this it keeps